I hear so many conversations about the quote unquote legends and the greats, you know, from Cosby to Pryor to Murphy, Chris Rock, Seinfeld, Carlin, Chappelle. I mean, literally the list goes on and on. And everyone has a opinion. Everyone has a view of what these people are and what they've done and who's funny and Bernie Mac was this, the kings of comedy. And you know, the question that I, I raise is what will people say about me? Madison Square Garden. Oh boy. I got it. I first knew I was funny when I uh, I put myself in a fat suit when I was like 10 years old at my family reunion. My aunts were all big, right? So me and my cousin Kimberly, we were like, oh, it'd be funny to like get some big sweatsuits and let's put some balloons in it and let's act like our aunts. So we're just walking around. Family member was dying, but I used to swim for a team called PDR. They did a movie on my swim team. Oh, yeah. And I was an underachiever at swimming. My mom made me do it. Got to the point where I just didn't want to do it no more. So we're at the banquet and, you know, the seniors, you got to give a speech right. about swimming and your experience and, you know, so it gets up to me. A uh, room full of people, it's like 200 people. I just went up there and talked about my experience and about me uh, not being necessarily what you would call a winner. Uh, me going to community college after this and uh, all these other people are going on to universities. My relationship with my coach, but I was just freely talking and I had the room in tears. Like people were on the floor. Till this day, like when I go back to Philadelphia and I see people from my swim team, the first thing they bring up is my speech. Dude, we knew, like we should have known. As a comedian, we don't get these opportunities. If you don't take advantage of them, they're gone. So how do I say, what's up everybody? Vashed all this something. Vashed all this something. That was amazing. That was hilarious. Being a black comedian, the one thing you need is the black love, first. When you get that and your people put a stamp on you, say, hey, you're funny, man. We like you and we rolling with you. It's the best feeling in the world. I think the goal for me at the end of the day is to be universal. You know, I don't, I don't want to appeal to one race. I got a chance to travel all over the world doing comedy with Let Me Explain. So when I look up and I'm in Oslo and I have a sold out show and there's Denmark and there's a sold out show and Sweden and there's a sold out show and I'm laughing. Black folks in Scandinavia? I don't know if I saw too many, but I, <laughs> I just laugh and I'm like, these people not only know who I am, but I don't have to change my material and try to adapt or adjust to my environment. These people are coming out to see me because they're fans of mine. I started off small and eventually it got bigger and bigger and bigger and now I have a following everywhere, and universal. And you end up on a show like Modern Family, which is- uh, Which is very weird. <laughs> probably a lot of yeah. people didn't know you before <laughs> no, that and then no. you end up doing a camera. Who's this black guy on here? They <laughs> 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 have a black neighbor on Modern Family? <laughs> yes, and, and the funny thing was when uh, my whole character of Modern Family, Phil goes, did you just move in? And I'm like, no. He's like, how long have you been here? 13 years. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an open book, you know, good or bad. I, I talk about everything, you know, my mom passed away from cancer and I talked about the funeral, I talked about my dad being on drugs throughout my life, I talked about getting a divorce, I talked about being a single dad and talked about being a man, but not really knowing how to really be a man, not being the toughest man, why am I not to, I address everything. I wake up every day and I go, wow, I'm making money and I'm supporting my family but I'm in love with what I'm doing. And that's a blessing because, you know, not a lot of people have that opportunity. I love it. Right now you are watching HollywoodReporter.com where I have been my sexiest. It won't get any better than this, people. This chest is real and so are my hands. That's right. I don't know what that face was, but I went for it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. That's good. I recently brought a new truck. This guy shows me, he says, hey, if you don't ever want to look small in your truck, we got this thing where the gas pedal and the brake can raise up to you. <laughs> and I said, what? Are they on hydraulics <laughs> I said, or something? what did you just say? <laughs> he said, the gas pedal and the brake can come to you. I said, well, you don't have to say no more because this is sold. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> it's because the gas pedal the brake. How tall are you, by the way? Like 5'5". Five, five. Really? I mean, if we're going to measure it exactly, it's probably like 5'4". <laughs>